What's up fam? It's Janet and today we're back in my bathroom. We are going to be testing out Bold Unique's purple shampoo. It says that it removes brassy and yellow tones, use longer for silver slash ash look, cruelty free, vegan, paraben, and sulfate free. If my hair... Uh, I don't know. What what color would you be able to call my hair right now? So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, wet my head and I'm gonna leave this on for two to three minutes like it recommends. I'm gonna go ahead and take a before and after picture so you can see the difference. I'm on... Let's just say I haven't washed my hair for like a week. She's pretty greasy. I literally just got home from work, guys. It's like, you know, 7.20ish, 7.30ish. So I'm ready to wash my hair and, you know, go to sleep. Guys, honestly, I was going to film myself taking a shower. My inside lining of my shower curtain, it's black. And so literally, it does not look good. I don't know what to do. So I'm just literally standing here with dripping wet hair. Okay, so it comes in this sleeve. It says important instructions. While I'm standing here with my dripping wet hair, I'm going to read the instructions to you guys. It says, always use Bold Unique's purple shampoo on clean hair. For best results, wash hair with your regular shampoo before use to remove product buildup and avoid patchy results. And we ain't want no patchy results, alright? So, I'm going to listen to the instructions for once because that would have been a disaster. So, I'll be right back. I have washed my hair. The Tresemme smooth and silky. That's it. Like, not too special. It is what it is. Now I'm gonna open this. That's a very sturdy cap. Do you guys have, like, an estimate of, like, how much you guys use? I honestly don't... I'm stupid. Protective seal. Ooh, that is pretty. She smells like grapefruit. Mmm, she smells really good. Now we're ready to go. Uh, let's try this again. Do you guys have an estimate of how much you guys use? Or like, it's like, whatever, however much. Uh, I used not a pea, <laughs> a dime size amount. I really did not. I'm gonna be generous with this because I want it to cover my whole entire head. And I'm just gonna go in. Actually, uh, I'll actually do this how I do it in the shower. Uh, you know how sometimes purple shampoos, it makes it, your hair feel like very hayish? I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about um, for my blondies out there. I'm going to actually put this on like my roots because those are the most brassy. Those are the most orange. And so I'm going to like run my hands through my scalp. And that's typically how you should wash your hair when you shampoo. You shampoo. I got it all on my face. You shampoo from your scalp to the tips of your head. And that's the most healthiest way for you to be able to wash your hair. But with conditioner, it's the opposite way, I heard. So with conditioner, you do from your tips to your scalp. Okay. She looks pretty. I got a pocket pocket full of sunshine. The smell is super nice. Like it's not overwhelming to the point where like, I can't handle it. I'm not a big fragrance person either. I'll show you guys what it looks like wet and then I'll show you guys a comparison when it's dry. You can really see a difference and my hair is not even dried all the way yet. So I actually have the Bold Unique Detangler brush. Right now I actually want a middle part. So I'm just gonna uh, split my hair down the middle. Go from the tips of my hair and then go upwards. You never wanna start at the top of your hair because you're gonna pull out more hair even though <laughs> even though you shouldn't be washing uh brushing your hair after you get out of the shower i'm gonna show you guys how it is from the back wow she's kind of nice this is kind of like giving my head a massage too so i have my blow dry hair she's ready ready for the action and i'm just gonna blow dry my hair real quick so i can show you guys the final results on dry hair you guys are probably like, oh, why would you split your hair and comb your hair before you blow dry it? What's the point of that? There's no scientific like reason why I do it. I just do it and then as soon as I finish blow drying it, I just go back in with a comb. I, I don't know. I just think it's so much easier to go in with a comb again when um, your hair had already been brushed through. Because now it's not as much tanglies, okay? Besides how ratchet my hair looks, this is how it looks from the back. So guys, this is the final product. Here is the back. 
my hair was really yellow and now it's more toned down and even my roots in the beginning I felt like it was more orange like slash copperish color you know this is what I got from standing outside the shower imagine if you guys were in the shower and actually you know washing your hair correctly like a normal person would honestly I'm really glad that I read the directions so that my hair wouldn't be patchy so another purple shampoo that I've been using is the Fanola's no yellow and in comparison to the bold uniques purple shampoo Shampoo. honestly I think I prefer this one way better just because like I feel like it really toned my hair without really toning it. like you guys can see in the beginning of the video my hair was really yellow and it was really brassy but now it's like more cool tone it's more calmed down while the Fanola no yellow leaves some yellow in my hair I personally like the more like cool tone the more like platinum ish -y look you know so between these two this one gets to move up to the next tier and this one is out of the hair olympics i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me making a fool out of myself i hope you guys liked this review if you guys want more content like this make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe down below all the products that i've mentioned it'll be in my description box below as well as bold unique's website so you can check it out thank you guys for watching bye mm -hmm.